the No Fade Channel checking in, and today we're going to be going over our gear for the Vermont Spartan Beast. With only a few days left until the Vermont Spartan Beast, we need to go over what we're going to be wearing and what we're going to be bringing with us for rehydration and nutrition. First and foremost, though, I need to give a huge thank you to Gravity Fitness Clubs. They have been so supportive with me not only training at their great gym, but also bringing out a bunch of cameras to try to get footage there uh, in the midst of everyone else trying to actually get a workout in. So I'll be supporting them and bringing this Rise and Grind Gravity Fitness shirt with me and wearing it along the course. Also, what I'll be wearing are shorts. And I know what you're saying. Shorts. Everyone's going to be wearing shorts. I'm purposely wearing these shorts. These have three zippered pockets on these shorts. Reason being, I plan to fill them up, at least in part, with um, goo packs. It's a little bit easier to access than if I carry them in my backpack that I'll be bringing with me. All right, the next two items that I'll be wearing are simply to prevent small nicks and scratches when going over, under, and through a number of these obstacles. These are arm sleeves. Um, again, some people use them for circulation or heat. I'm just using them to keep my arms uh, from getting scratched up when I'm um, going over Berlin walls and whatnot. Also, I'll be wearing these sexy leggings um, underneath my shorts. Uh, and again, these are just to prevent my shins and knees from getting nicks and cuts. Um, I find that any exposed skin during these obstacle course races, at least for me, tends to get cut up slightly. And it just keeps me from having to break out the bottle of Neosporin when I get home. Now, on to rehydration and nutrition. Um, during my last Tough Mudder, I broke my Walmart uh, $14 Coleman uh, hydration pack. So I got a new one. I got an $18. We, we went top shelf. $18 outdoor uh, lifetime guarantee uh, hydration pack. This is a trail sprint hydration pack. However, I do not use the actual um, bladder inside. I find it to be in general too cumbersome and too time consuming in terms of getting a lot of water at once. What I will do instead is take out the bladder and replace it with this reusable um, water bottle. Okay, So what I will do is fill this water bottle up with a combination of BCAAs, beta alanine and creatine, a very diluted mixture, and carry this with me inside that hydration pack. Also I find because it has the big opening, I can get a lot of water at once. Also when I do come across a water stop, I can fill it up. There should be plenty of water, even though the race is going to be 12 or 16 miles, it should be plenty of water. The temperature is going to be about 55 degrees, so it's not going to be that hot, as well as the fact that I'm going to start off the race um, fully hydrated, and there will be water at certain points along the course. For food, um, I noticed the last obstacle course races that I did, I did not consume nearly as much uh, calories as I thought I would. I'm only going to be bringing these two gel packs, which I will carry in my pocket, and this protein bar, uh, only because if I get hungry along the way, I want something with a little bit of substance. But I doubt I'll probably get through all three of these, even though it's a long race. Again, keep in mind, I'm starting off with a, a semi-full stomach to begin with. I'm going to st start off fully hydrated, and when the race is over, I know I'm going to have access to water and food as soon as the race is over. So you don't need as much food and uh, nutrition as you do think. Uh, a lot of people, myself included, pack their, their hydration bags with tons of these things and they end up just carrying them over the race. Also, because it is a Spartan beast, I need to have a light stick, a glow stick, excuse me, as well as a headlamp um, in order not to be kicked off the course if I take too long. Uh, hopefully these won't even come into play, but there are checkpoints. If you're taking too long, you need to have these in order to continue along the course. And that's it. Um, if I've learned anything over the last couple of obstacle course races, it's that you have to carry your own engine. So lighter is better. Ideally, I'm trying to carry as little weight as possible without actually um, running the risk of getting dehydrated from not bringing my own water and just kind of hitting a wall from not bringing my own uh, food.
And that's it. It doesn't seem like much gear because it isn't. I've learned over the past few obstacle course races, you need a lot less than you think. And if you bring a ton of gear, you've got to carry your own engine. So that's just extra weight that you need to lug over 12 to 16 miles. So let me know in the comments below, what are you bringing for the Spartan Beast? What hydration packs do you use? How much water you're bringing? Am I completely missing something? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And as usual, don't save anything for the trip back.